What's going on guys? Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Review for Omega Aquarium. This game just released onto the Xbox One today, October 18, 2019 for a price of $23.99. I'm going to show you what this game is like and uh, go over the achievements and uh, give you some tips. I was actually the first person to unlock all the achievements. Uh, this game is really fun. I like this game a lot. Um, it wasn't too hard to complete. There was only like two hard levels there's 10 levels in total you have to complete the achievements are pretty straightforward it's just complete the 10 levels and then you have to uh have a thousand guests enter and you have to buy like a thousand animals you're going to be doing that as you go through the 10 different levels and the good thing is the trackers actually work for those two so you can see your progress buy a th uh, thousand animals and then just play through complete 10 different levels and then uh, also complete five trades on level like two or three you do a trade as part of the mission you do like two of them all you have to do is just play that mission again until you get the achievement so like i said there's uh 10 different levels that you have to go through they're all different missions some of them they're like half started and then you have to like work on the aquarium make it bigger and better and you have to just do different things um, you're going to always play on easy. It makes it a lot easier and you don't have to play it on any other difficulty. Uh, I'm going to start a new game and uh, show you what it's like. Show you how to play. Show you what this game is all about. Alright, so we're going to make an aquarium. On this one we start from scratch. It teaches you how to play. You can zoom in and out. You can expand over here because you're going to get missions. This is where your missions will be. So you can expand and like read exactly what you have to do if you don't know what you have to do. So we're going to make some uh, fish tanks here. It's pretty easy to make. Next we need to uh, put um, the heater on and the filter. Just put one on each. A filter and a heater you need that for your fish to survive put some decorations in put a plant in each now we can put some fish in as you can see I'm doing all the missions on the side I'm getting the check marks all right what else do we have to do we need to uh, buy the food we'll put it down here you got to make sure that it's accessible by the tools and then we can hire some uh, help we need staff to walk around and feed the animals and fix the heaters and stuff and now we can open up our aquarium guests are gonna come in and as they look at fish you're gonna earn ecology points and as you earn points you're gonna unlock new fish and other stuff and that's how you play the game and you can uh, fast forward and pause you hold our trigger we're gonna sell those fish so we can make room for our new fish here we can uh, make the place bigger we can expand there we go then we can start adding uh, more tanks. You can uh, move them around, pick them up. We got another fish here. No, I don't want to sell that. So our next mission, we have to uh, make another tank for our new fish. The thing I like about this game is it's uh, really um, easy to play. It's very user friendly. So the mission here is we have to satisfy the requirements. Each fish has different requirements. So you can just uh, check the fish 
and see what they need. This fish, um, he needs four, so we need to put one more in. And he's good. Start ranking up, and then you could start unlocking new stuff, bigger tanks. New fish. So now we have to uh, unlock the next fish. We could fast forward. Because you get ecology points as uh, guests come in and look at your fish. And you get more depending on uh, having different variety. I got a new filter here. It's uh, combined with a heater. Takes up less room. Should be unlocked soon. Let me fast forward. You can see how much they earn too. Ah, oh, there we go. So now we got the new fish. Put him in his home. We can start unlocking the next fish. And now I gotta show you uh, my favorite part about this game. When you zoom in all the way, you can actually go into first person and actually walk around your aquarium. <laughs> I love that. You can check out your fish. You can walk right through the tanks too. You can walk right into them. <laughs> and like I said, um, the trackers work. You can see them going up. I'll get uh, an easy achievement right here. You get an achievement for naming a fish. So, all you have to do is just select a tank. Select one of the fish, and then you press in the right thumbstick to rename it. We'll give him a new name here. Bob the fish. And there we go, got an achievement. All right, so I'm gonna take you over to uh, my big aquarium on level 10. Level 10 is kind of like you learn the lessons from all the other missions and you have to do it basically start from scratch and then build a huge aquarium the hardest thing is uh, some of the missions is like building up your ecology and uh, keeping your rating high and uh, basically you just have to uh, accommodate the guest make sure that you have uh, stuff to buy for them, food. Um, you have different kind of fish. Kind of mix it up a bit. Keep adding new ones. Uh, this is my entrance here. Let me uh, go in first person. It's a little laggy because there's so much. <laughs> this place is uh, packed out with stuff. And there's a lot of guests here. I got this walkthrough tunnel aquarium with some uh, stingrays and squid. I'm on the Xbox One X too and it's just still like, <laughs> it's a little rough. I still love this game though, it's really great. I wish I can uh, shut down my aquarium kick everyone out so it runs better <laughs> I just put tanks everywhere a lot of the times they want you to hide the filter and stuff some of the guests don't like to see it but it makes the game so much harder and uh, just because you have your guys trying to repair it and it takes longer for them to get to it but I just put it out I have some stuff hidden like back here but later on you can buy bigger things and it saves a lot of room and it gives a lot better uh, filtration for everybody but it really doesn't cause that much of a problem having it out like that so don't worry about it 
Just make sure that they're getting fed. Make sure you have uh, all different stuff for them to buy. You unlock this late in the later levels. And you have to have stock so that the uh, people can restock. When you hire guys, they, ha they do different things. You can change. Like uh, you can make them just like focus on stocking or just repairing or feeding you'll see um, if there's an issue like this one this tank here has an issue this uh, fish is uh, hungry because he's not getting fed and the reason is because there's no stand here I was moving the tank and I forgot to put um, another stairs here so I'm gonna put one here now So we'll build the stairs and it needs a platform. And now that it has that, they can go up there and feed them. This will go away. We can make it a priority to uh, feed these guys. Just uh, click on the food bubbles. And then you hit A on it, set priority, and then your uh, guys will come over and uh, focus on feeding them. It's really not too hard of a game, just uh, follow the missions on the side. I found it better to uh, make more tanks than to uh, mix too many fish together. Then you don't have to worry about any like fish eating each other or having uh, different requirements that like uh clash a little bit but yeah i had a lot of fun playing through this game it also has a sandbox mode which is cool so it has replayability the only thing is it's a little expensive it's uh 24 dollars it has a sale a couple dollars off now but still it's a little up there also it had a couple of bugs too when i played it hopefully they fixed them now i've seen they had some updates but when i played it it crashed a few times and also my saves um, sometimes I would save and then I'd quit when I come back. It would like have an older save. So just make sure you want to back up your save. You can make multiple saves. But yeah, it's a cool game. It wasn't too hard. Um, this is my uh, final tank here. At the end of the game, you make a big tank and you get the whale shark, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, I just wish it ran a little better. It is pretty laggy, but to be fair... Um, there's a lot going on in this uh, aquarium. <laughs> there's a lot of tanks and a lot of fish. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you this game. It is out now if you want to pick it up. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time here at Achievement Land. Yeah.